In this video, I'm going to show you how to make rollover buttons. So you're going to make images. Uh, you're going to use Dreamweaver to create rollover images uh, to create the behaviors. You're going to use any graphics editor that you'd like to make all the pictures on here to make uh, your buttons happen. I'm going to go into Fireworks where I created my buttons. I'm just going to show you what I did. I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing this. You can make them any way you want. But I saved every button twice. I have a history orange um, and a history gray. I... Uh, so here's my history gray. I have a home gray, home orange, news gray, news orange. All I did is I set up this button right here. I had my regular color, my gray color, and then I went to file, save as, and instead of just doing uh, news gray, I just changed this to say news orange, and then I would have two buttons next to each other. So that's how I set that up. Next, I went to Dreamweaver, and I'm going to put in this a new page just to kind of show you how to do this. All you need to do is go to your standard insert bar. All right, so this is just a regular page. Um, and you're going to click on the little uh, arrow next to image, and you're going to click on rollover image. And this is going to be my home button, so I'm going to make sure I give this a name. And my, for my original image, I need to click on browse. And I need to find the folder where I have all of these things saved. Um, I have it in what page? All right, so here's all my images. I know I have a uh, history gray. Let's say I'm gonna do history first, or actually, yeah, let's do that. So I'm gonna push history gray next. I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna put in history orange, just like this. All right, so that's good to go. I'm gonna type in my alt text. Always good to do. Um, if you want to link it to a page right away, you could do that too. Click on the page you want it to go to. I'm not quite ready for that. I'm going to push OK, and this history button shows up just like this. I'm going to put in another button real quick just to show you how to do it again. We're going to go to image, the arrow next to image, rollover image. Uh, we're going to put in a, let's do our news, uh, not, not news, our home button, home gray first. I'm going to do home orange next. I'm going to give it a name. I'm also going to put in alt text. I'm going to push OK. Okay, so I have these two buttons next to each other. You'll notice how I set the pictures up, the lines naturally uh, separate each other. Now, this isn't going to do anything when I'm inside a Dreamweaver. But if I hit F12, and I'm just going to save this onto my desktop, you can go and check it out right here. And this is such an old browser, it's not going to run right away. But if I allow the controls to run, uh, it's going to roll over, and that's going to give your website a nice look. So uh, that is how you make your buttons, set them up in your graphics editor, and get them ready to work with Dreamweaver.